friends, happy Thursday, how are you? I have missed you guys so much. It feels so good to be here with you. Hello everyone, I'm so excited to see all of you jumping in. Holly's here, mom is here, hi Kelsey, hi Pebby, Jess is here and Elka is here and Sarah's here. It is a party on Periscope as always. Let me know where you are watching from in the comments if you would like. You can ask questions, you can jump in in case you are new on the scene. My name is Hilary LeMay and I wanna personally welcome you to another Throw It Out Thursday broadcast. Hello, Pebby from Texas. Oh, thank you. Yes, because tonight we are talking all about being our own wellness warrior, so my shirt is totally appropriate for tonight's topic. Hello, Bella. Hello, cutie pie. Hi, Lonnie. Hi, everyone that's jumping in. And I am your label reading gangster hostess. Together, we kick chemicals to the curb where they belong, and we use our essential oils for fun and with ease, and it has never been more fun and more exciting to be an oiler in doTERRA. doTERRA is launching over 30 new integrative clinics in the next year or so, and I am so excited to be on this wave of momentum with you. One of those clinics will be in Washington, D.C., so I'm even more excited to check that out. But I am an essential oil educator, a platinum global team leader, and AromaTouch certified practitioner with doTERRA International. So in case you are just stumbling upon my channel, thank you so much for spending some time with me. And I am so tremendously grateful that you have chosen to spend this Thursday evening together here with all of us. And we have a lot to cover tonight. So as usual, I like to add as much value and education as possible during our time together. So you can always catch the replay if there's anything that you miss and do not be shy, ask questions, uh, share comments, join the dialogue. Of course, this is a good vibe tribe, so only goodness is allowed, right? And um, during the broadcast, I'll do my absolute best to answer all of your questions, but if I don't get a chance to answer your question, feel free to send me a message in any of the vortexes. Hello, Beth. Send me a message in any of the vortexes if I don't get a chance to answer your question so that I can make sure that I can address whatever question that you might have. And um, I've been sharing doTERRA essential oils since 2014, and I've been bringing my favorite recipes and ideas and life hacks and amazing little oil nuggets to life for you here on Periscope since 2015. And we have covered so much ground together. We've really grown to be like a family, and we talk about magnesium mocktails, and we talk about all these things, and you guys are familiar with that, and I love that familiarity and that sense of home together. And so while each broadcast does stand alone and we make recipes for for elderberry syrup or for you know this or that what happens when you aren't feeling well right so we get to put it all together and be our own health hero our own wellness warriors and so you don't need to stand in around in analysis paralysis you can put it all together because of the small sustainable habits that we put together every time we meet here on Thursdays. And so if you are catching up, you'll be able to go back and watch my elderberry syrup periscope, or you'll be able to go back and watch my periscope about making our own respiratory breathe sticks, and we're gonna cover those tonight too. But that's what this broadcast is all about. Oils for re-entry and life back at home after a big trip, if maybe you caught something along the way and you're not feeling your best, and it is all about connecting those little dots and putting those small things together, that habit architecture that we're creating, those small little sustainable habits to support you when you need them the most. And the reason that I'm sharing this with you is because this platform allows me to share how we are using in oils in our own home in practical, relatable ways. And two weeks ago when I attended leadership in Atlanta, it was an amazing experience. So many breakthroughs, so much learning. I loved seeing so many of my Crossline sisters, seeing so many corporate leaders, meeting so many of you in person was just so incredible. And connecting with you is such a joy and I wish I could have spent even more time together with you all. But on the last day, I started to feel really run down. So much talking, so much connecting. And though I love being a homebody and staying on my compound, you know, and coming to you through the screen here, I am an extreme extrovert too. And it lights me up like just a glitter bomb from my soul when we get to connect in person. And I don't often realize that I need to take a break and recharge my own batteries. And I, there's such a limited amount of time that we have together when we're in person at these doTERRA events that I forget sometimes I need to take a break. And so as an empath and someone that absorbs energy 
good and bad of the people around me large events do affect me and the more emotional healing work that I do you know like we talked about last periscope um, sometimes it has a way of sneaking up on us that we don't always expect so hopefully by showing up for you consistently over the years you felt inspired to use your oils consistently like I'm showing that we do in our home and for support when your immune system is compromised and like we talked about last time with emotions as we start doing a lot of that releasing and then we can receive the abundance sometimes some things that we receive aren't so good either sometimes we're receiving that energy from somebody but maybe they're they're not in a good space and they're they're kind of that energy vampire that sort of that energy suck from you and that's taking all the good things that you have to share so a few little housekeeping items before we dig into the meat of our broadcast this platform of periscope of course has been around since before facebook live before instagram live all of that and uh, i am so grateful for you that you've stuck around here and this safe space is so wonderful for us it allows us to just share my love for doTERRA essential oils and you can share your love of doTERRA essential oils with me too my love for wellness living and the freedom really to just connect on whatever's relevant in my life whatever's going on that i want to share about and the freedom to talk about whatever we want whenever we want to so if there's something that you would like me to cover that I haven't covered already on a broadcast feel free to just head to my website hillarylemay.com you can send me a message in any of the vortexes and drop me a little note you can also click uh, tap the three little dots at the bottom right of your periscope screen and that will allow you to share this broadcast across your media Facebook and Twitter and if you miss anything if you have to jump off for some reason, I hope you'll stay, but if you have to jump off for some reason, you can catch up on YouTube. Just go to YouTube or Google and type in my name and you can subscribe and catch that, uh, catch me there. Or just go here back to Periscope Recents and then you can find any of the broadcasts that you might have missed. So if you're joining us for the first time though, you do have a lot of catching up to do because there's about 185 other broadcasts that you will have to catch up on. But I would love for you to put up a one in the comments down below if you've ever felt overwhelmed when you start to feel sick and suddenly you forget all that oily knowledge that you've been absorbing maybe it can happen to you so it can happen to anyone especially when you're not feeling your best sometimes we just feel so sick that we're just like I don't know what to do I don't I have no energy I don't know what to do and what I want you to do is be able to come back to this broadcast so even if it's you in your jammies with your head underneath the blankets and you feel like death just turn this on and fast forward to something that might resonate with you tonight that you might need down the road and you can refer back to this because I tried to make it like a Noah's Ark kind of this hashtag all the things that whatever all the things that I use because I used a lot of things when I wasn't feeling my best hopefully some or all of these will resonate with you yeah even if you're not feeling sick even if you're just feeling stressed out or feeling overwhelmed sometimes it can feel really challenging to really know okay especially if you're earlier on in your oil journey or if you haven't brought oils home yet what do you do what do you choose what do you reach for and so what makes you feel like a wellness warrior and a superhero more than anything is when you can spring into action because the small habits that you have been incorporating suddenly become second nature and you know how to support yourself and that's you when you know you've made a turning point with your habit architecture that you really truly have made that shift into a more mindful way of dealing with your proactive medical care and so it's so common for us to do this with our kids right like if Olivia has a nosebleed I reach for our nosebleed blend and I put it right over her nose and we're good to go I spring into action because I've created I'm a deliberate creator and I've created these habits I've created these tools by the door of the garage by the front door in my office in my nightstand in her bedroom to be able to support us when we need to but we need to do that for ourselves too not just the people that are around us and so when your, when your friends, when your family rally around you and help you facilitate those habits each day and help, are, and they are sort of helping you to weave those things together because they are supportive, because they want to be open-minded, that's really important too. So having those dialogues with your friends and family and the people around you and just sharing and bring your oils out and chat about them. And it's not because you want them to buy them, but it's because you want them to understand this new language that you're speaking, this new way of thinking and approaching the times when you don't feel well. So if this is resonating with you, you can tap the screen at the bottom as many times as you want to give me a little heart. Just lets me know that you're enjoying this and it's resonating with you. And so because this essential life is all about the building blocks, that's what today I wanted to dedicate our evening together is one of the foundational elements that I teach every day. And that's actually just taking 
action. It sounds so simple and it really is. It's taking action with your oils. So just like my shirt says, we're gonna be our own wellness warrior tonight. And so most of the time, that's in a proactive sense. So getting ahead of the game, you know, rolling the oils on our kiddos before school and after school and you know doing all these things that we do but sometimes it means we need to be reactive and listen to our body loud and clear and i'm going to divide this up into some categories to try to make it a little simple and we're kind of going to have to breeze through because i don't want to keep you guys all night but then you can always come back to this as a refresher you can um, search any of my youtubes for some of the specific things that we're going to use but that i've shown the recipe for in its own demonstration and you can always come back to this because i literally did all the things when I wasn't feeling good. So some of the categories we're gonna cover are, um, the first thing is what I did for informed self-care. The second thing is um, some internal protocols that I followed. Um, the third is the topical protocols that I followed. The next is the um, some of the uh, self-care protocols that I followed. So first and foremost, informed self-care and informed medical care. So I was around a lot of people, some who were sick, we were traveling together, we were in close quarters, hugging, shaking hands, public restrooms, recycled airplane air, you can catch my drift here. We did not get home until 1 a.m. The following morning, uh, I woke up with no voice and my chest felt tight. And I've lost my voice before, I've had laryngitis before, hello, I'm a verbal processor in case you didn't notice, in case you're new around here and you didn't put those pieces together, I am. Um, and I love to chat with people and I love to do all that stuff and of course chatting with you all tonight. But I've never felt chest tightness like that and it made me concerned. And I took my oily self to the doctor because this is not about saying, oh, I don't ever get sick, I don't need the doctor, I've got my oils. It's about the integration of the two and that's the beauty of these medical clinics that doTERRA is opening. That it's not about having to choose one or the other, but it's about the cohesion between the two of them. That if you're having a medical emergency and you are concerned, you should have an open dialogue with your doctor and um, the proactive lifestyle is about using the tools that we have to support us, but when we're experiencing things that raise our hackle a little bit and considering our lungs are pretty essential, it's time to partner with our doctor and keep an open dialogue. Now, I am grateful that our doctor actually uses oils, uses doTERRA, and is extremely conservative when it comes to prescribing things. So she's also been Georgia's primary care physician for more than the last decade, and then um, she moved her practice to closer to where we live. So actually Olivia, George and I, all three of us now have the same primary care physician. And there's a respect level there that is mutually understood and I'm really grateful for that. It is, it, it's really nice. And I actually taught her how to use Instacart and save time for her own family. So she's really always available for questions and she's always like, whatever I can do, you know, you don't, you don't need me very often, but whatever you need, I'm here for you. And so it's awesome to have that kind of relationship with your doctor. So to cover all the bases, hello Helen, thanks for joining us. To cover all the bases, she did tests. I tested negative for the flu. I did not have strep throat. There was no bacteria present. So she just coughed it up to a respiratory virus and it was time to just call in all the home remedies because that's what you do. There's nothing that she could prescribe me, even if I was gonna be open to it. There's nothing that she could prescribe me that could really do that much help for me. So um, what I'm gonna show you is the oils and the protocols and the foods and the, the things, the self-care tools that I used, because this can tend to linger. And actually I'm still having a little bit of compromised lung function. Like I don't feel like I could just go run around the block right now. So I'm still in that healing process. And I want you to understand that this is part of the journey. It's just listening to your body and trusting your body and knowing that you need to give your body time to heal. And it's okay to say no, and it's okay to clear the, the schedule, and it's okay to rest. It's really important. And for, from me, I want you to know that I'm telling you it's okay to rest. And I want you to give yourself that permission. You don't need permission from me for anything. Nobody needs permission from anybody else except themselves, right? So, but I'm just, you know, being funny with you guys because we're a family and that's just what families do. So we're going to first now chat uh, next about our internal protocols that I used. The first one is bone broth and it smells so good and it's right next to me. And I heated this up and it I was already starting to congeal, but I'm going to take a little sip of this. Mm because it's so delicious. So bone broth is always a go-to for me because it restores electrolytes when your body's feeling depleted. Bone broth is an entire reason that the whole chicken soup for the soul trend became a thing because it's true. Lizzie, yes, you are so right. I am really grateful, but you know what's really important is you being that creator for your own life and working to seek out 
a medical professional that is going to be open to listening to you, not just rushing you through, but listening to you and taking the time to hear the things that are concerning you. And so uh, bone broth is really amazing, and if you have not experienced it, I highly recommend that you do. It has minerals, amino acids, gelatin, collagen, chondroitin, and the hyaluronic acid becomes a part of that broth, and adding apple cider vinegar. If you have not checked out my recipe, it's on Instagram, and it's also on Facebook. You're going to love it. And um, adding the apple cider vinegar helps leach all of these minerals when you cook it. And I have, like I said, I have that recipe. If you have any questions about it, reach out to me. You can always Google for a basic bone broth, bone broth recipe, but I use essential oils in there as well. Um, yes, that is so true. Talia, the, Talia is saying that the Aboriginal tribes would eat bone broth as a main staple and they are the healthiest people on earth. So we follow suit with that. That is so true. And if you don't have time to, or if you don't want to make your own bone broth, you can absolutely purchase some from your um, health food market or your natural market, or you can even use low sodium bone, um, bone broth that you can buy at the store. Just make sure it's low sodium, make sure that it doesn't have any nasty ingredients and flex your label reading gangster muscle. Um, to make sure that it's as clean as possible. And you know, you can have your groceries delivered, enlist a friend or a neighbor or a spouse maybe to help make it for you. Thankfully, I had just made a batch actually before I left because I was trying to help protect myself and then I knew I'd want some when I came home from my trip. And so obviously, mothers know these things, right? Mama Hilsey's intuition spoke. And um, so if you do not have a freezer stash of bone broth, I highly recommend it. I put one of these in a, in a little dish just to show you what it looks like. Now I use silicone molds to freeze mine and this I have found to be an absolute game changer and Dr. Laura Ritchie taught me this and this is just what it looks like and so when you um, when you have them in your freezer and stored when you need one you don't have to defrost the entire batch you can just defrost one bone broth puck mm. and it's delicious and it's great and you can just defrost that I also love to use my bone broth in my veggies in my cooking recipes and it flavors everything so beautifully so it's super versatile you can use it just for streamlining your meal prep each night but then you can also use it just to call in those extra support systems from those electrolytes and all those minerals that you need and um, this is also going to help keep you hydrated so if your stomach isn't feeling well like my stomach was not feeling well i really did not have an appetite for a while probably a week or a week and a half or so um, so if you're not eating with the same regularity as you normally are Bone broth is a really great option for you just to give you some calories and give you those electrolytes. The next thing is super basic, water with lemon essential oil. So this is something that I do every single morning and I start my day with lemon water. I don't drink coffee, um, but I start my day with lemon water and then if I want to have hot tea or something else, I will do that. But lemon water, just a few drops in your water cup and you wanna use stainless steel or glass. Um, this allows your body to flush toxins and this is going to prevent you from feeling dehydrated but also because the hydration helps loosen mucus and so if you are feeling a little congested in your nose, if you are feeling a little congested in your head area, um, in the chest area, like my chest was feeling so tight, my lungs and throat was just feeling really tight and it was making me feel really uncomfortable. So you want to stay hydrated. Um, also if you're dehydrated dehydrated it can make you feel more run down and feel more sick so if you want to just get ahead of the game get into the habit of even if you are drinking coffee there's nothing wrong with drinking coffee in the morning have your cup of coffee have that ritual but if you are interested in seeing how you can feel differently maybe with incorporating lemon water first try having eight ounces or so of lemon water while you wake up and then you can t turn to your coffee mm. And it just feels so good to hydrate your body. Now, hot herbal tea is another option for you. If you per prefer that kind of warm morning ritual, that's totally a great option. Um, but also the water is gonna help move the lymphatic fluid through your body. So if you are dehydrated, the lymphatic fluid can't move around and then you can't help your body stay hydrated so that all of your other body systems can start to ramp up and boost up with all the other things that you're gonna do to support your wellness. So next up, I'm gonna have another sip of water because it just tastes so good. Um, the next thing that we're gonna talk about is good old elderberry syrup. Now, I <laughs> I am not 80 years old. Um, Lizzie, would I have taken an antibiotic if I needed to? I would have had that conversation with my doctor and just said, is this absolutely necessary right now? Can I give it a couple days and wait it out and then call you back? So 
you know, it just really depends on the situation. I had no bacteria, I had no strep, I had no flu, I had nothing like that. So when it's viral, you just need to let it run its course. And that's why all these self-care practices and all of these internal protocols and all of these great options are really key for you having access to them in your house so you don't need to go anywhere for them. So I'm not 80 years old, but sometimes it does feel like that because Mama Hilsey's cure-alls, bone broth, elderberry syrup, um, there, there is a reason that our grandparents and our great-grandparents swore by these remedies because they actually work. And if you have ever used my elderberry syrup, you know that. And I've got a Periscope broadcast dedicated to this entire thing, so be sure to catch that as well. Um, I love to take a heaping tablespoon of elderberry syrup several times a day, probably every two hours, um, which has a honey base if I am not feeling well. And so I'm gonna just take a little swig of that now to show you. I am a seasoned oiler, so I just pour some, I just eyeball it into a shot glass and down the hatch, and it's so good. And I use ginger and clove and cinnamon and it's spicy and I really, really love it. Um, yeah, and Talia's right. The, the facts on antibiotics are really astounding that they only work 13% uh, of the time and the other 87% of the time they don't. And a lot of things that you go to the doctor for can be... Uh, can be avoided and you can be able to handle those at home. But as always, this is not about not going to the doctor and saying, oh, I don't ever have to go to the doctor, I never get sick. It's about being informed and having options and knowing that you have tools to support you. But if you are feeling like you need to have another uh, person's opinion and that you are really feeling concerned, you should just go to the doctor. You don't have to take the things that they're giving you, but it's really important to have that open dialogue with them. It is, Lindsay's exactly right, it's about the balance, and I encourage you to do that. And again, as I'm mentioning, it's about the integration. It doesn't have to be, you never go to the doctor. It's all about what is going to resonate with you and what is gonna feel best. And over time, that might shift for you. As you start incorporating more natural remedies, you can use them as a first line of defense. So trying those things and seeing if they support you. And if you still need help, have a conversation with your doctor. So the elderberry syrup, just taking a heaping tablespoon of that um, every few hours helps to boost your immunity and Yes, mom, that's so true. People really do demand antibiotics from their doctor. And my sister is an ER pediatrician, and she is very conservative when it comes to handing out medications, especially for babies and kids. Because, I mean, there's just, especially when it comes to a virus, there's nothing that um, that, that can do, you know? And you just need to let your body work its way through with lots of other things, water, rest, and you name it. And my sister will tell me all the time that these people get really mad. And she's like, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna give you a magic pill that's gonna help this go away. You need to take time and honor your body. Um, but this is gonna help support your respiratory system because it has a honey base. And we're gonna talk about honey in just a moment. But it's gonna also help kickstart your body fighting that good fight. So I, as you can see, I've got this halfway down and it was full when I got back. So um, you wanna always have these things on hand. Have your bone broth already made. When you're feeling great and you're feeling good and energetic, make those things ahead of time. When you're feeling good and you've got energy, invite a friend over or grab your kiddos and make some elderberry syrup and have that at the ready. You can even freeze it in little shapes, in little silicone molds as well. The next thing is something a little similar, and it's called my DIY throat coat with frankincense and copaiba. So if you're on Instagram, you saw that I was posting about this as I was using it, and Lindsay's saying that's why we love our oils. We can help support our body as it fights whatever crud that we've got, and then if we need intervention, then we have that as an option. So it, you don't have to feel like oils are either or, and I want you, I, that's really the takeaway from this message tonight, is that I want you to be ready. I want you to have the tools so that you can be your own wellness warrior, and you can advocate for yourself, and you don't have to be in analysis paralysis, that you will know some things that are really simple that you can keep in your home to have them all the time. Like you always have honey. You should always have honey in your house. Honey is like one of the things we use the most uh, all through the year. So this is one of my absolute go-tos. My throat was feeling like a dry tickle. I'm still having a little bit of a dry tickle. My voice was gone and my throat was feeling that 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 kind of tightness. And so um, when I was having some of my coughing attacks earlier on when I'd gotten home, it was actually gagging me. I was coughing so deeply. And so one of my quickest remedies that I go to, and we actually keep a container of honey underneath our sink in our bathroom, underneath the sink in Olivia's bathroom, and in the kitchen as well. But this is one of my quickest remedies is the honey spoon. So what I will do, I'm gonna show you. I just take a drop of frankincense. You can take a drop or two of frankincense and then a drop or two of copaiba. And these oils are very calming, soothing, and they are just like immediate relief for me. So try this out. You can use lemon. You can use 
um, so many things, cardamom, whatever, but I just love this and it works so fast. So you just put two drops on the spoon and you can of course do this in a larger batch. You can put it right into the bowl, but in a super quick emergency, in an oil emergency, I just like to make it super quick and simple for me. And then you can just either dig your spoon right into the honey or in, in a normal case, I would just like, you know, squeeze the honey right onto my, onto my spoon. But you can just mix this in a little, in a little dish if you want to for the sake of our demo, that's what I'm doing. And then you just down the hatch with the honey. Mm. And it coats your throat and it's so good. And you can just feel whatever little tickle. It's just like this soft, smooth, soothing energy that goes over your throat and you just feel good and it's soothing and you have that on hand all the time because frankincense is a staple. Copaiba is an absolute staple. And by making our own, this is really, we're making our own cough syrup, right? And so by making our own cough syrup with honey, this is a natural antitussive. It's a natural cough suppressant and it can kick the nasty cough syrup with chemicals to the curb because it's throw it out Thursday and that's what we do around here. They contain synthetics, chemical dyes, artificial sweeteners, and that affects your endocrine system, your endocrine balance, especially if you have little kiddos. A lot of you have will notice, if you haven't noticed already, if your kiddo goes to a birthday party where they're eating a cupcake that's got like blue or red frosting, and all of a sudden, like maybe 20 minutes later, they start acting really manic and really angry or really weird or like they start to hulk out, it's because they're having a reaction to the dyes and to the artificial chemicals that are in those flavorings and in those substances. And those things are the same things that are in cough syrup. It's not good. And so I love being able to turn to honey. And that's another reason why elderberry syrup is so awesome because the elderberries themselves have amazing restorative and immune boosting properties, but you make it in a base of honey. So this is almost like a thinner version of cough syrup. And then you can have lots of other options for acute support if you're just in a slurry where your cough just won't let up. For me, it just soothes my throat and it's awesome and I love it. And you can even do it, you can even do the honey spoon even if you're not having any throat attacks or coughing or anything like that. So I totally love that one. And then for on the go, if you're feeling like if you have to go out or do something and you're on the go and you need that kind of support, I love having the plethora of drops that we have. And actually this week doTERRA launched the new ginger drops which are Olivia's favorite. They're really, really good. Um, and you can snag them up now and they're in the little brown wrapper, but we've got our ginger and lemon drops. So that's a really fun option. And then we've got our on guard soothing drops. So these are going to boost your immunity, but they're also, they also have clove and the clove is going to help numb your throat. So if you're feeling, um, sore throat, that's great. I wasn't feeling a sore throat. It was just, I had no voice. Um, and then the cough and the tightness. So for that, I was using the breathe respiratory support drops. So between the three of these, this is like a triple threat. Now I have these um, by the door. I always have them by the door. And it's funny because Olivia's friends and our neighbors, when they come for play dates, they always grab it because they think it's the candy jar. And I'm like, I like this. I like where this is going. I like that you think this is candy because this is awesome. And we're raising empowered kids. So again, the ginger and lemon, the ooh, ginger and lemon, the on guard immunity boosting with that clove. So that's going to really help numb the throat if you're feeling any pain there. And then the breathe drops, which have cardamom and rosemary and eucalyptus and the breathe blend. So that's really going to help also if you are feeling that tightness in the chest. So again, I always have these on the go with me in my purse, um, but these are great to have by your bedside in the middle of the night if you need something to kind of just keep in your cheek to keep that throat um, supported there. The next one is vitamin C and um, I love the oranges. I love oranges. I just love them. And a little fun fact, if you didn't know this, George is the best fruit peeler known to man. He is like if you've ever seen him cut a watermelon, it's amazing. It's beautiful, symmetrical. He is like the most award-winning fruit cutter. I he, I just, I mean, I, I don't know. He's just, lobster's gonna lob. He's just the best at so many things and I love him for all those things and more. Um, but he peels oranges really well. So one of the days when I wasn't feeling well, I sent him a message and I was like, womp, womp, womp. I really want an orange peeled by you, but you're at work. So I guess I have to do it myself. But oranges are great. The vitamin C, super important. It's a great essential vitamin for you to boost your immunity. So you absolutely want to be sure that you're incorporating fresh fruits and vegetables like kale and leafy greens if you can stomach them. And nothing beats fresh fruit and vegetables. So if you do not have those on hand, I'm going to take a little bite of this because it just looks so good. If you do not have, um, if you do not have fresh fruits and vegetables on hand, you can get your groceries delivered 
most places now in the country you can, well, not most places, but many, if you live in a larger city or suburb, now you can get Instacart. If you want a $10 coupon, shoot me a message or you can hit up my Instagram or my my website, hillarylemay.com, and you can snag a $10 coupon on your first Instacart. So even if you do like going to the grocery store, because I know many of you, you like going to the grocery store. I used to. Now that Olivia is born, I don't like going to the grocery store because I want to spend my time hanging out with her. I don't want to spend my time in the grocery store. But um, for those of you that do like to go to the grocery store, that's fine. But if you're not feeling well, take the help where you can. Get your groceries delivered. Oh, Elka, yay, I'm so glad. You're going to love it. But if you can, take the help where you can. Just that takes something off your plate. And that's what this is about. Just take it off your plate. So, um, again, just seeing where you can pull back in some areas to help honor your body and take a little bit more of a rest. The next is a lifelong vitality pack. And I love that these come in travel packs now because especially when you don't feel good, the last thing you wanna be doing is sifting through all of your bottles of vitamins. Um, this is just absolutely foundational. And when you are able to get a, bell, a belly full of food, it's really important to take your vitamins. This was really great for me to be able to support my body. Any missing links when I wasn't really feeling like my full appetite, but it was helping me to fill in the gaps there. And um, we just need to be patient with our body and give our bodies the support that we can. And so always take these after you've gotten some food in your belly. Um, it's got our omega fish oil, and this also comes in a vegan option where it's plant-based omegas and just it's algae oil there. And then we have our alpha CRS, which is our energy and stamina complex, helping us rebuild our energy uh, naturally without stimulants, helping support our mitochondria. And then the microplex VMZ, which is our vitamins and minerals. So that's what the, the V and the M and the Z vitamins and minerals stands for and that's going to provide that total coverage it's going to boost your mood the natural herbs and botanicals are going to help support you if you miss a few days of llv you will absolutely feel it so imagine you've got a sloth and then you've got like a dazzling unicorn just like prancing with poise and grace over the clouds when you don't have your llv you feel like the sloth and when you've got your llv on board you feel like that prancing unicorn and so it is a fact and this is a game changer and I carry these with me on the go in my purse because if I forget to take it um, before I go or if I'm out doing errands during a meal time, it's a really great option for me. Now what I do like to do at home though is have all my vitamins organized in this little tackle box that I showed before. So this is a great option because you can just reach in for whatever you need. I have all my vitamins, I've got my probiotics, I've got my triese, my um, my seasonal blend and I've got the on guard soft gels and we're going to talk a little bit about that but this is a great way to organize uh, oil organize yourself I've also got the empty veggie caps so if I need to make any veggie caps I can absolutely do that um, Amanda's asking is the vegan option safe for fish or seafood allergies absolutely yeah because it's completely um, vegan and vegan means there's no animal product whatsoever so the vegan option is plants it's algae so if you think about it fish are eating algae so that's why we eat fish oil because we're getting the algae that the fish eat and the algae is where the vitamins are so um, if you want to just cut to the chase you can do the vegan option of the LLV because it's uh, it is the algae oil instead of the fish so you are totally safe there if you have an allergy to fish and so then the next one is bananas and I went bananas while I was sick so especially when I didn't feel like eating a full meal or eating meat or for me really anything else bananas are such a comfort food when my stomach hurts um, I don't know this is probably from when I was a kid maybe I ate bananas when my stomach didn't feel good but bananas are a really good source of calories and nutrients that can help also relieve nausea and if you're feeling a little digestive upset. So they really were a lifeline for me. And again, you can Instacart, you can get your groceries delivered, you can enlist the help of a friend and give them oils if they're willing to help you out if you um, don't have a spouse or someone that can help you support you with that. But um, this was an uh, awesome lifeline for me. The same goes for hard boiled eggs. I love hard boiled eggs. They gave me the protein that I needed, but there wasn't a lot of flavor that didn't upset my stomach. Because when I don't feel good, I don't really want a lot of like salty things or things with a lot of flavor. So that really helped me a lot. I'm gonna take a little sip of water. It's just so refreshing. And so uh, if you find a couple staples that you really like that help your stomach when you don't feel good, especially like having LaCroix on hand, like LaCroix was an awesome thing for me too, to have a little hydration and I can sprinkle in my magnesium powder and have a magnesium drink just to help kind of calm any anxious feelings that I was having. So the next thing is the On Guard Soft Gels. 
and this is really really important I took this after I was able to eat something with protein and this boosts our immunity but it also takes it up a notch because it has oregano and it has Melissa and these are two immunity powerhouses so the on guard plus soft gels are something that I take with me when I travel and what I try to take before I'm traveling and especially when I get home from travel but if you feel like you've been exposed to somebody that's sick or you are starting to come down with something, it is an awesome little prevention there. And even if you do get sick, this is gonna help support you to help you feel better quicker. So again, this is not about, oh, we use oil so we never get sick. No, that's not the case. We're human beings and sometimes we get sick. But the, the beauty of these oils and this integrative approach is that we can use oils to support our bodies to help us get better quicker. The magnesium mocktails are absolutely safe for pregnancy. Everybody needs magnesium. It's a mineral that is in that everyone's body has and most people are uh, deficient in magnesium and actually a lot of pregnant women experience restless leg syndrome and a lot of pain and swelling and many of my pregnant oilers that have had pregnancies from the beginning to the end um, and they use their oils and they use their supplements and magnesium were so much more comfortable so always talk to your OB about it and make sure you have an open dialogue with your medical professionals because again this is an integrative approach just like the doTERRA clinics this is not about one or the other this is about integrating both into your life and helping support you but you can use magnesium um, excuse me throughout your pregnancy with with confidence but if you are not certain you really want to make sure you have that open dialogue with your doctor the next two things that I took are the Terrazyme and the PB Assist. So of course, this is something that I do all the time. I take these before bed on an empty stomach. Um, there is lots of pollen around, and so we also wanna be factoring in our tri -Ease. So these three are really like the trifecta. So tri -Ease is the seasonal blend with lemon, lavender, and peppermint, and this can prolong your symptoms if you're not gonna take um, something like lemon, lavender, and peppermint. You can even, even make your own veggie caps with just two drops of each oil, or you can take the soft gels that are already made. But sometimes when we are, uh, when our respiratory support, when our respiratory system is compromised, and then we are in an environment like our environment in Virginia now, where everything's blooming and, and, and everything is starting to warm up, and there's a lot of allergens and pollen in the air, that made it worse for my breathing. So I was making sure that I stayed up to date with my tri ease that after every meal and before bed, I was taking my tri ease and that really helped open up my airways and just helped me feel a little bit more at ease. So tri ease is awesome. And then the Terrazyme and the PB Assist, I took these before bed to support my gut health and balance and help support any sourness that I might have been feeling in my stomach. And um, of course, now we have the ginger drops, so that's awesome. But the probiotic is really important for your healthy gut, especially if you've been throwing up or if you are not eating properly or if you're not feeling feeling good or if you're just really under the weather you want those probiotics on board and then the digestive enzymes especially to help that sour stomach and just to help your body feel supported and be able to function properly in your dig digestive tract so you don't have any more of that sourness because I just was not feeling food I didn't feel like eating much so between the oranges and the eggs and the bananas that was kind of my lifeline and then adding in the bone broth and some lean proteins and things like that and some smoothies here and there we're going to talk about that in a minute. And now another thing that I also grabbed is my Copaiba soft gels. And I was taking these for pain for my throat, um, but also for emotional support when I felt like I couldn't get restful sleep and for calming my throat before bed. So it was just like that, that tightness and then the dryness. And so... Um, this the copaiba was really helping me and then I felt like it was also helping me kind of release some of those anxious feelings because if you don't feel like you can get a deep breath you kind of start feeling a little anxious like um okay can I breathe here you know and so you just want to use your oils and do some breathing exercises and just try to take it slow and relax and the copaiba really helps relax me and that's why I take the frankincense and copaiba under my tongue before every live broadcast right because um it's nice to just have a little bit of extra emotional support whenever we need it. And then smoothies, again, are something, as I just alluded to, that I used a lot because I didn't necessarily always feel like having a chewing meal. So smoothies were a really great option for me, um, especially because they were cooling for the throat as well. And so what I would do is make some trim shake because this is pretty mild. You can also use the pea protein. If you are vegan, um, there's a, a V shake. This is trim shake, the vanilla, and this has whey in it. And then I would add collagen peptides. So two scoops of collagen 
peptides has 18 grams of protein. So that's really, really good for your stomach and for your connective tissue and supporting your body. And then I would add a banana, some almond butter, um, and this was just really helping me. You can add cashew milk or almond milk. I don't recommend too much dairy when you're not feeling good, just especially because um, you know, it might make your stomach feel a little bit worse. Yes, thank you, Beth. The lemon poppy seed smoothie was so comforting for me because it was just a little bit fresh, but not too sour and just really helped give me a good solid protein base for the morning when I didn't really feel like eating much else. So if you have not seen the lemon poppy seed um, trim shake version, a smoothie that I made, you'll definitely have to check that out. Um, but nuts are also a great option if you don't want any whey or anything like that and you can handle some chewing foods. Nuts are a great option. Just get some that are um, that don't have any artificial things on them. Get them raw. Raw nuts are ideal for you. Um, but you can snack on those maybe by your bedside or um, in between if you're not feeling like a full meal but you do need some protein. And then now we're gonna shift into some of the topical protocols that I used. So the first one and my favorite is the Symphony of the Cells. And the Symphony of the Cells is something that I cannot speak more highly of. These protocols have benefited our home and hundreds and hundreds of families' homes that I support every single day. There are over 700 people in our oil team and all over the world this is something that you can do and no matter how you do it you're doing it right and Boyd Truman will tell you that from his own voice when you take the Symphony of the Cells training and they're extremely straightforward simple anyone can do these protocols you don't need a massage table you don't need any skills it's not like aroma touch at all where there's a, a coordinated massage type of movement it's not like that at all these are super straightforward I get asked I get asked often what's the difference between Symphony of the Cells and Aroma Touch and um, Aroma Touch is really for more of an overall relaxation and wellness and more of a relaxation like spa like feel where your total body is being supported in a general way for more of like a proactive self-care relaxation and Zen Symphony of the Cells is what I consider the workhorse. Like, let's get down to brass tacks, I gotta feel better, let's do this. And so it's for specific body, body systems for specific needs. And George, I, I have to give it to him, he did an amazing job with it, and this was the first time that he's ever done it, and it helped me recover so much. I am so grateful for it. And especially like if you're just feeling anxious feelings, and it's hard to breathe, it just was really calming and soothing for me and it really helped me get restful sleep. So the protocols that we used were the lymphatic protocol and the respiratory protocol. So the lymphatic protocol is on page 33 if you have this guide. If you don't, you can purchase it online. And anyone that is in our Empowered by Oils private community has access for free to the digital downloads of every single one of these protocols. So the lymphatic protocol has um, 10 oils and I'm not going to go through them all for you because I don't want to take too much of your time but I want to empower you to purchase this and use this for your family. Um, the respiratory protocol has I believe 10 also, um, 10 oils as well, they're different and the respiratory protocols involve where, um, so for the Symphony of the Cells you are applying oils to the shoulders, the back and the feet and then with the respiratory protocol whoever is administrating the protocol will have their hands underneath your nose and you'll be able to take some deep inhalations of each of the 10 oils which is really cool and I actually am surprised that not more of the Symphony of the Cells protocols do that but I really appreciated that in this in the respiratory support protocol so if you have not explored this I highly recommend this you're really really gonna love this um, if you don't have the booklet just reach to your Google Google is your friend and you'll be able to find this and you can access it anywhere but what we did is we alternated every other day so every other day we would do the respiratory support protocol and every even day we would do the lymphatic protocol and he really took his time and he was very thorough and we have a heated massage table and that really helped I think the heat just was really wonderful the relaxation the then my body could just relax and focus on healing. So I highly recommend this. Uh, the next topical application um, that we use, that we use all the time, but especially when we're not feeling good, is our On Guard hand sanitizing mist. This is so basic and so simple, and you should always have one of these on hand. We have one in our junk drawer. We've got one in my office. I have one in my car. George has one in his truck. I have one in my purse. We have them everywhere. Actually, Olivia has one in her lunch bag, um, which is really fun that she takes that to school with her, but this is a really great way to support you. Also, the foaming hand soap is another great one because you're touching the 
phone, you're touching the doorknobs, and clean hands are key. So if you're rubbing your nose, if you um, are blowing your nose, anything like that that's going on, really important to have your On Guard hand spray, and of course the On Guard foaming hand soap. The next thing that we did is uh, applying the flume roller topically every single hour. And I have to say thank you so much, Beth, because Beth was my accountability partner while I wasn't feeling good. She is an amazing friend, and um, she was helping me stay on track and not forgetting to prioritize myself. And so the flume roller is frankincense, lemon, on guard, oregano, and melaleuca. So F-L-O-O-M, flume. And Beth was like, you got to do it every hour. I'm like, okay, no problem. So she was my accountability buddy. And Beth, thank you for that because I'm so grateful um, because I probably wouldn't have done it every hour. I would have, you know, just like sometimes we're like, oh no, it's okay. I don't need it. Yes, you do. You do. You do. So we're going to make one together. Um, and actually, I don't think I have my oregano handy. Um, I don't think I do, but we're going to make one with the oils that we have handy because of course we're forget we're forgetful sometimes and sometimes we forget things. So I'm gonna just show you a few of the oils and then um, when my broadcast is over, I'm gonna finish with the rest of the oils because I think the Melaleuca is over on the other side of the kitchen. So what we do is just put equal parts of the oils in our roller. And I just like to use a 10 ml roller from the Root and Petal. Um, Lori says she adds peppermint because it cuts that feverish feeling. That is a great idea, Lori. So in this case, I'm gonna add 10 drops of my frankincense and then I'm going to add 10 drops of lemon and I just love this ability to make these oils for ourselves whenever we need to. We've got our lemon and then I've got the On Guard and oregano and melaleuca over there in the kitchen but I am going to top this mostly with fractionated coconut oil and then I'll finish it off after my scope. I'll just leave some room there and then you just want to put your roller bottle, your little roller ball right in there, snap it until it's all the way shut, and then you just want to give this a little shimmy shake. And then the oils in there are going to be such heavy hitters, they're really going to support you when you need them the most. Um, and then when you need to refill it, or in my case, I'm going to add the oils that I don't have right here with me, you just pop it out, you just get the little uh, threads linked right into the lid and you can pop it off and you can refill it whenever you need to. And then when you're ready to fill it back up, you just apply pressure and you twist that top right back on. Easy peasy, exactly. And you know what? Sometimes when we're not feeling our best, we're forgetful and that's okay because we give ourselves grace and we know that we can pick back up wherever we need to. So the flume roller is gonna be really great for you. The Melaleuca is cleansing. The oregano is a super heavy hitter, immune boosting oil. On Guard is the same. That's gonna really help jumpstart your immune system. Uh, the lemon is also cleansing. It's gonna clean any of that bacteria and then frankincense is super powered. It is just the king of oils for a reason. It's supportive, it's great for cellular health and function, and it's just an overall powerhouse. So when you think about the first line of defense, you wanna have this flume roller made up at all times. And so this one will be a backup for me because I have several around the house actually already. So the flume roller is fantastic for you. Um, I would just recommend putting on slippers or socks so that you don't get the oils on your floor or so that they don't rub off before they have an opportunity to absorb. The next topical things that we did um, that I did was neroli and peace. So I would roll these two rollers on before bedtime. I put up a one if you like neroli or if you like peace. I love these so much. I cannot get enough of these oils. And Olivia really loves peace. And actually we weren't into this oil too much until she started asking for it. And she really, really loves this. And so before bedtime, I would take both of these rollers and take some deep palm inhalations for anxious feelings. And it would just really help me when I was feeling frustrated with my body, when I was feeling like, you know, just some emotions were starting to pop up. Like I have all these things I need to get done and I can't do any of them right now. And so I would just roll these a couple revolutions into my palm and just take some deep breaths. And this combo together is awesome. It's really, really nice. And so you can just put it over your heart if you need to, and you can just kind of take it through your hair a little bit. So it's a little bit of like a little perfume that you kind of get a whiff when you, you know, move your hair to the side. You can just rub it onto your body or whatever. I just love this combination of oils so much. And it's, it's really ironic because as we talked about last broadcast, we talked all about emotions and um, it's really our emotions that are a mirror for us. And if you have not snagged this book from Share Oils, it's back in stock now. I highly recommend it. And oh man, I can't get enough of these smells. It just smells so good and so comforting to me. 
And um, the irony here is that in my last broadcast, when we talked about emotions, that emotions are that mirror really for helping us reflect inward. And I was so frustrated with my body because there are so many things, like I said, that I wanted to do. And instead of laying in bed resting, that I wanted to be getting done, but I could not. And I was feeling a little bit restless, a little bit impatient with my body. And of course I should have known that I was drawn to these oils for a reason. So neroli helps us feel patience and kindness and tolerance and resilience. And Mama Hilsey needed all of that. And um, that was just really fun to be able to use that appropriately when I needed right when I needed it. And then peace is the oil of reassurance, and of course um, that helps us feel safe and feel still. And I kid you not, it was very hard for me to sleep the first couple nights. I've never experienced chest tightness like that. I've never had asthma or an asthma attack before, but it kind of felt like that. And um, I was getting a little bit of anxiety because I felt like I couldn't breathe deeply like I was used to. And these two oils really just helped me emotionally restore and do what I needed them to do. And so I just encourage you to keep um, reminding yourself to give yourself grace to hold space for that healing and look at the reference guide when you're feeling drawn to an oil or when you're feeling some emotions use the oil use the uh, the the wheel that has all the oils and all the emotions or refer back to this book in the back where you can link up with your emotions and help you see which oils can be great for you but I just felt drawn to those oils and I was really excited about how they comforted me when I needed them the next one is Rose Touch. Olivia loves Rose Touch as perfume, and I actually wasn't, again, I, it's so ironic, she is loving all these oils that I really wouldn't have reached for for myself, but then now that she loves them, I've been into them too, and oh man, I can't stop smelling my hand because it smells so good. Ah, so many deep inhalations. I hope you guys will try Neroli and Peace together. It's awesome. So Rose Touch, I rolled this over my heart and on my pulse points and I inhaled deeply. So right over your heart and just, you know, your chest area, your heart chakra and all of that. And you can put that behind your ears and anywhere you might need it and just take some more deep breaths because this is the highest vibration oil available. And so it's also the oil of divine love and compassion and healing and acceptance. So those all sound like things that we can all appreciate, right? And it was just truly the perfect hug for my soul that I needed, swiped over my heart and breathed in each day. And ironically, you know, because Olivia loves this so much and she loves to wear it as perfume, you always, we always have it on hand. And, um, you know, I'm just such a high energy person. I juggle two full-time jobs. I've worked for the federal government for 18 years. So between my responsibilities with my government job and with doTERRA, being a mom, being a wife, all my other responsibilities there, I really needed some extra emotional support when I just could not be every Thing to everyone while I was healing and that was a really good reminder um, and you know sometimes it feels like a bummer to have to clear the schedule say no to things and basically work from your bed all day when you need to um, Holly I'm so glad that you've been using neroli and rose together they are really really good they're amazing florals and I highly recommend them if you haven't brought them into your collection yet and um, it's just it's important to be patient with our bodies and having the resources and having the knowledge that I have I was able to look and say hey Okay, what oils can I reach for that are gonna give me a little bit of an emotional boost and help me? Work through some of those emotional feelings of not being able to do some things that I want to do and knowing those things will be there later And it's okay because we need to prioritize our own self and that's what this lifestyle is all about It's being your own wellness warrior being your own hero when you need the healing It's one thing to be able to pour out to everyone else and that's a wonderful thing too but you need to put on your own oxygen mask on first the next is breathe so of course breathe is a classic breathe uh, the roller is awesome I love the breathe roller I also love digest sun and deep blue so these are some other topical things that I was doing to support me so I would roll these on my rib cage now first of all the digest sun is great for supporting when my stomach wasn't feeling the best and I was feeling a little bit nauseated and I didn't really have much of an appetite this was helping me so much um, with any nauseous feelings and of course now that we have the ginger drops they came a little bit too late but that's okay I can still appreciate them for the next time and then deep blue is so soothing and cooling I would put those on under um, my rib cage area to just help me get a nice deeper breath 
and then support any um, just kind of soreness. Like if you're constantly coughing, it might kind of make your ribs a little bit sore. So the deep blue roller is awesome for that. Also the deep blue rub, which is still free for another few days, I think two more days, and you can get the deep blue rub for free if you are a customer or if you are ready to get started with oils. So taking either the roller or the deep blue rub or even both and slathering your rib cage area is really a game changer. And Beth, I owe her, uh, I owe that little life hack to her because she was the one that encouraged me to use the deep blue on the ribs. And that really helped just open up the respiratory system and the airway. And then of course using breathe to do the same thing. So you can roll breathe on your chest, on your neck area, um, behind your spine area, on your lower back, behind your neck, on your feet as well. So you can even put some of the breathe blend in your roller. But the respiratory support blend is great because this has, um, it's got our eucalyptus and it's got melaleuca, peppermint, lemon, um, cardamom, and, um, and it's just really, really a powerhouse for any respiratory support too. So that was really great. And then the last topical protocol that I used was eucalyptus. And I, if you've been following me for a while, you know I just have a love affair with eucalyptus. It just smells relaxing to me. It smells calming to me. I cannot live without this oil. When in doubt, eucalyptus in my bath, eucalyptus in the diffuser, eucalyptus in my Anton. I love eucalyptus. I have so many backup bottles of this because I can't live without it. It just opens up my airways and supports my lungs and chest. And I just really love the smell more so than maybe some of the other oils. So I just always have eucalyptus in my nightstand. I really love this one. So I would literally just put it on neat. And I feel like I'm an experienced oil user, so I know how oils work on my skin. I don't have sensitive skin, so I can use uh, just a drop or two neat rubbed onto my chest if it's like an emergency situation. Um, but I always recommend people dilute and use rollers first to see how their body reacts. So you are your own best guinea pig. So if you're not sure how an oil is gonna work on your skin, always just do a little a little patch test and you can do that like on the inside of your wrist or um, on your hand and you can see if you have any reaction, but I don't have a reaction to, to any of the oils, so um, we are safe there. And then now we're gonna shift into the aromatic protocols that I used when I wasn't feeling good. So Anton is my, one of my favorites. And if you do not have an Anton yet, I highly recommend that you do. This is a hygrometer, and um, we use hygrometers throughout our house and in the bedrooms to monitor our humidity. And you want about 45% humidity, which hopefully Sandy's still on here. We're almost there, we're at 42 right now. And um, when it comes to supporting your respiratory system and your chest and your lungs, I had my Anton humidifiers going 24 seven. Hey Sandy, yay, she's still here. So thank you Sandy for bringing the Stadler and the, the Anton and the hygrometers into our world because it has been so helpful for me to understand how important the relative humidity is in relation to our wellness, our respiratory support, and just things overall in our home. So having low relative humidity in your home and especially in the rooms where you spend a lot of time, bedroom, the home office, can absolutely affect your health and wellness. And I did not have a humidifier with me for an entire week. And I'm used to running a humidifier this time of year 24 hours a day in my home. So when I was thinking about how this happened that I got sick, I was thinking to myself, well, that was a huge thing that I do every day to support my respiratory system at home that I did not have when I was traveling. So, um, oh, and now it's jumped up to 51%, so we're good. Um, and so having a hygrometer is a really inexpensive way to test and see what your humidity levels are when we are not running our Antons. Our humidity is really low. It's like 20 or 21% in our house. So that's why we have our Antons running all the time. So I'm gonna bring him on screen because he is my bestie and he is such a hot commodity and he has stamina. He runs all night long. And so you can see Anton and I've showed him before. You can turn this down a little bit if you want a lower mist. Um, you can. There's this little slide at the bottom and then you can slide it a little up if you want it all the way. And I really love having this by my bedside every single night. And we have one on George's side of the bed, we have one on my side of the bed, I have one in my office, we have one in Olivia's playroom. This is the one from Olivia's playroom. Um, we have one in the Zen Den and we have one in the guest room. So it is something that when we had those Stadler promos and Sandy, thank you for the generosity of giving us those coupon codes. Every time we had a Stadler promo that included an Anton, I snagged it up because I know the value of that. And I have been doing some research on travel options for humidifiers for when I travel the next time because it was a huge game changer and I realized, wow, I need to have a humidifier with me when I travel and I couldn't exactly pack my Anton with me <clears throat> on my trip. 
So, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm getting choked up about him because he's so lovely. So yes, if you do not have an Anton, I highly recommend this. And this is just another reason why these are the habits that we create. And when our bodies get used to that, and then we're without it for a week, we really feel it. So I'm gonna move him off screen just for the moment. Um, but what I did is I would take my blend that I love with Siberian fir, lime, and eucalyptus. And I would, and I have these already pre-blended. <clears throat> so I have some in other parts of the house, like I have one in my office, and then I have one upstairs in our little main area um, diffuser bar, like a little blend bar that we have set up with all of our master blends. And so I love having this all the time. I just love this, especially when it's pollen season, when you are feeling a little compromised with your respiratory system. I just love this. And it's also really relaxing for me. So you just fill up your Anton, you fill up the, the water, and then you put that, you put a few drops of your oil right down into it, and then you are good to go. And so I really love having that going by my bed every single night. It is really, really supportive of you. You're gonna absolutely love it. And then I would also slather the breathe stick all over my chest. Now, <clears throat> you can make your own, and I've shown, hashtag, there is a Periscope for that. So I have shown in the past where you can make your own breathe stick with the same combos of oils, or you can even use breathe lime and Siberian fur. And then I've also made just plain, thicker breathe sticks that are a little bit bigger than the doTERRA. And again, there are scopes for that, so you can catch all the recipes on my YouTube or on my Periscope archive for these. But I would just slather my chest and my feet with the breathe stick, and that was working really well, and having that literally as close to my bedside as possible um, really, really helps support me. And so if you are new to oils or you're new to my channel, I'm a brand ambassador for Stadler. So if you want to enjoy any of the Stadler products, you can head to my website and you can um, snag up the deal. There's a permanent coupon code EBO and you can get 25% off the, the Antons and anything that you want. Um, I think Cece was saying, is the breathe stick a great alternative to the vapor rub? Absolutely. That We do not use vapor rub in our house. We use the breathe stick. Highly recommend it. There's no petroleum in there. It's all natural ingredients, cocoa butter and shea and beeswax and your oils. It's really, really simple, really easy to make. You can head to watch my broadcast of that and, and be able to make that for your home. The other thing that I was using is um, I was diffusing On Guard 24 hours a day. And so I actually have On Guard in my Julia right there. You can see that's another one of the Stadler workhorses. She runs 54 hours, so I always have her running, and I've had On Guard going in all the diffusers in the areas of the home that I'm not spending the most amount of time on. Um, and like I'm in my home office and in our bedroom the most, but in the kitchen, you know, after you cook dinner, it's nice to have On Guard there, to just kind of make everything really feel nice and fresh. And then if anyone under is under the weather in your home, you can just start diffusing basic On Guard. It's really, really great. Um, it is not noisy at all, actually, so it's really really, really quiet and I love it. I've not had any issues, but you are welcome to choose your own adventure and try it out. And if it's not going to work with you, you can always return it. But um, I love the the nice little low hum of the Anton. It's very, very low profile. I really love it. The next thing I did was utilize my facial steamer. So I love this. Unfortunately, this particular one is no longer available on Amazon, but I have a similar one in my Amazon favorites that you can get. And you just fill up the reservoir with water and then you put this in the back and then it has this little basket for oils and what I would like to do is I would put in the same blend that I would use in my Anton. You can use any combo you like. Um, you can also use ras uh, not raspberry, <laughs> rosemary and lemon. That's something I also did. You can combine them both. So you can put a drop or two of rosemary and lemon in with the Siberian fir and eucalyptus. You can just do lemon. You can do lemon, lavender, and peppermint. You can do breathe, whatever you want. But this is really like a little up-leveled version of the steam mug. So if you don't have a, a facial steamer, you don't need to run out and buy one. I'm not telling you to go spend all your money. If, if you happen to have a birthday or something coming up where you want to buy yourself a little gift, go for it. Um, this is not very expensive or anything, but it's great. And so this is a facial steamer. Let me plug this guy in. I have to turn Anton off for a moment, but I'll turn him right back on. And what you do when, after you fill it with water in the back, after you put a little bit of oils in the little basket, you just flip it on and you can steam your face. And it's like the most amazing thing when your throat is not feeling its best or your nose is stuffed up or you're having a migraine or a headache or anything. 
um, or you're just feeling stressed or you want to give yourself a facial. It's all the above. And there's a cool setting and there's a hot setting. This is really cool. So this is going to be really great for um, just opening up the airway and really supporting you with that. I got this on Amazon. Again, this particular specific one is not available anymore because I've had this for a couple years, but I put a comparable one in my Amazon Prime favorite shop. So if you go to hillarylemay.com and you just click on Lemazing Favorites, you'll be able to go right there. But I would sit with this two times a day. And this really, really helped me because in the morning, that was the hardest for me. When I would wake up, I just was feeling like it was hard to get a really nice deep breath. So I would just sit with the steamer and it would be about 20 to 25 minutes. Hi, Lisa. I'm so glad you joined. And um, I would sit there and then I would do this again before bed. And it really, really helped me. It just, it's a game changer. So if you are in the market for a facial steamer, great. If not, you can do a hot mug of water. Just put it in the microwave maybe for about five minutes or so. Um, get it almost boiling. And then you'll drop some oils in there, whichever oils you want. And then you will be able to just take a towel, cover your head with it, and you can just breathe in deep, nice inhalations. And that steam and the humidity from that heat is going to just really open up your airways nicely for you. So hopefully you will try that. That is something that I can't live without now that we have this facial steamer, especially when allergy season gets really bad soon with pollen. It just totally drains everything and it just loosens everything up and it's a game changer. So hopefully you will try that too. And then... Um, Again, you can choose your own adventure with any of the oils you want. Like I said, I like to keep some master blends of things I really like all the time so that if I'm not feeling my best, I have them ready to rock and roll for me. The next thing is the self-care protocols that I incorporated. So a massage. I got a massage as soon as I was able to, to intentionally help move that lymphatic fluid along through my body and helped me with anxious feelings and just helped me calm down and spend some time really just being intentional and relaxing for me. So you should not feel guilty. You should not feel bad about practicing self-care and you've earned it and then some I'm sure if you're watching this chances are you definitely deserve a massage so I definitely encourage you to give yourself permission to do those things for you um, and that felt really good I also cleared the schedule as I said I called in reinforcements helpers maximize my grocery delivery I took the help where I could um, Amazon Prime is your friend there's so many things you can get on Amazon Prime um, just you know making sure that you can get all those things that you might need in your hands at all times. Um, George was super amazing also when he got up with Olivia in the mornings. He put Olivia to bed when he was off and he was able so I could focus on resting. I slept as much as I possibly could. So even once I started feeling a little better, I instituted a mandatory 10 p.m. bedtime alarm. So now my bedtime, my phone alarms at 940 and then at 10 p.m. to remind me that it's time to wind down, start the bedtime routine, fill up my, my humidifier, you know, do all the things that I need to do. And I really needed to have this form of accountability to get my bumper in bed. Because it's really easy for me to spend all those hours after Olivia's asleep working and getting ahead of my tasks for the next day, but then I'm feeling depleted. So it's something that I've been personally working on going to bed earlier and that has been really helping me as well. Um, we also wash our sheets every other day, um, especially the pillowcases, especially the pillowcases when you're not feeling well. So we have extra backups in our linen closet so you don't have to feel like you're doing laundry every single day, but we have those backups. We switch the sheets out every other day when you're not feeling good. You really need to prioritize this, especially if you have kiddos because you know, they're, they're out there and their germs and the blankets and the stuffed animals and the pillows and all of that. So have some backups if you need, even if you need to just get some cheapy ones that aren't maybe the most luxurious, have extra backup sheets. It's going to help you. I promise you trust mama Hilsey when I tell you you're going to want to have extra sheets if you can. So blankets, pillows, coats, stuffed animals, any of the things that your kids are touching, any of the things that you're touching when you're not feeling well, you need to have that ready to go. Um, and also another thing that I did was tongue scraping. So I have a scope for that where we talked all about oral health and hygiene. Uh, tongue scraper is super important, especially when you are not feeling good. It's important all the time and you can do this in the mornings, but when you are not feeling good, it is even more critical. So be sure that you up, up, up the jam with your tongue scraping protocols every morning. This is going to help eliminate bacteria from your tongue and your mouth that can help, that can sometimes keep symptoms keep you from improving your symptoms. If you've got that warm, dry place where bacteria can easily grow faster, you wanna use your tongue scraper and you're just gonna swipe down, 
in those kind of sweeping motions and then you're going to rinse off the tongue scraper and then you're going to keep doing it until you don't get any film on there anymore. It's kind of gnarly. I have a periscope on it, but as you're seeing, we're putting all these little things together, you know, that have their own swim lane. We can put these things together to help support us because we have the knowledge, we have the habits, we have the tools, and we can put them into practice. So it's not glamorous, but it's totally effective, and I promise you it will be really great. Um, another great self-care thing that I did was take fresh air walks. So I started with 10 minutes. I used to go for like three to five miles in the morning with the neighbors. Couldn't do that when I wasn't feeling good with the throat situation. So just start small, get that fresh air. You can build up to longer. The vitamin D is super, super important. The fresh air also helps get your body moving. Getting your body moving is lifting your mood. Your endorphins are going. It also helps get that lymphatic system pumping and kickstarting your immunity. So you wanna get moving as much as possible. Even if it's light stretches, some light yoga, you can queue up on YouTube for free. Any of those things are great. I also recommend my Lamazing float pod for one. I also posted about this, so I tried not to post too, too much, but I was posting a couple of things when I was feeling a little bit better um, that I wanted to share about how I was using oils to support my body when I wasn't feeling good. So the float pod for one, you can use Zendocrine, which is our detox blend, which is amazing. Um, you can also use my other favorite blend, which is Aroma Touch, Cypress, and Lemongrass. Really, really good. Um, I, I find whatever combo resonates with you is what you should go with. Just because this is one of my favorite blends doesn't mean that you're gonna like it as much. But I just posted this a few days ago, so you'll have to go check out the, the specifics in there. But you're basically taking five cups of Epsom salt. So normally when we take a bath, we're just using a cup or a half a cup. Five cups of Epsom salt. And you're gonna take your favorite excuse me, your favorite oils, either the respiratory support oils or lymphatic support oils, detox oils, whatever is gonna resonate with you. And you're gonna add these to a bath, just a warm bath. You don't want it too hot, but you want a nice warm bath. And this is like a mineral hydrotherapy kind of experience for you where you're just gonna feel really supported. It's gonna support your electrolytes. You're gonna soak for about 20 minutes. This is gonna be huge for you, especially if you're feeling any aches or pains. So if you do have the flu, or if you have something else going on in your body or in your life, and you're feeling a lot of aches and pains, uh, soreness, any head tension, any anxiety that's happening, really anything, if you've just had a hard day, you can do a float pod. And I feel like this is an absolute go-to cure-all for one. And I know if Lindsay's still on here and Beth, in our private uh, leaders team, we were going through some protocols for some of my oil babes when they weren't feeling well. And I was like, float pod for one, float pod for one. And I kept talking about it and I realized I'd never really posted it before. Um, Allison, we were just showing, I was showing the Zendocrine is a great option and also Aroma Touch. Cypress and lemongrass, but you can go ahead to my Instagram and you can see the post that I shared a few days ago all about these particular oils, but the float pod just makes you feel so good and it dials down any pain you might be having, hips, shoulders, legs, knees, feet, whatever, if you've been on your feet too long, it's just a amazing favorite and you're gonna love it so much. So the key really is just to make sure that you soak for 20 minutes. If that means you need to set an alarm on your phone, whatever it is, do that. Now, also speaking of pain, <clears throat> pain, I love to use a heating pad. Heating pad is absolutely crucial. You need a heating pad in your life. Um, I would sleep with this on my chest if I needed to, or I'd sleep with it on my abdominal area if I needed to, and that really helped me. Um, just It was comforting for me, like warm water, warm steam, the heating pad, that's just very comforting for me, and that's some of my comforts, but I encourage you to you know, kind of seek out some of the things that are gonna help be comforts to you. Um, and then along the same lines of feeling comfort, hip pain, leg pain, knee pain, anything like that. Uh, the Deep Blue and Aroma Touch Soothing Salve Stick, I have a scope for this as well, and the recipes are on YouTube and online as well for this. This is a really great option too, so if your ribs are feeling sore, if you're coughing, or if you have the flu and your body is aching all over, you don't have to get your hands oily, you can just roll this on your body, it's just like a deodorant stick, and you just roll this on any painful areas, your hips or legs or anything, your neck and shoulders, wherever, this is awesome. And I actually like to keep this in the fridge and keep it nice and cool, so that if I'm having pain, that's gonna even be another boost of the anti-inflammatory properties for that. So. This is a lot, we covered a lot. And I want you to remember, especially if this feels overwhelming, especially if you've never 
brought oils into your home before that this is about small steps. So you can come back to this years from now if you find yourself in a situation that you might need one of these recommendations. You can always fast forward through. You can always jot some notes down if you watch another time. But it's really important that these are things over the years that I've experimented with, that I've tried. Because like I said, you are your best and your first guinea pig. So no one can tell you how your body's gonna react when you're not feeling good. Nobody else is gonna tell you what foods are gonna be comforting to you when you don't feel good. For me, these things work really well and these are my go-tos. So if you're not sure, and you're if you're sort of in analysis paralysis, that can really help you just start somewhere. And that's what I want you to do. I just want you to take action, just like I mentioned in the beginning, taking action is the first and most important step. So try some of these things and see how they help your body and you'll over time find the protocols and really dial in to what is going to work the best for you. And so these are things that I recommend to my tribe. These are things that come together over time. It's we release the things that don't serve us so that we can receive the abundance and then we just are, we just stay open, stay open and curious to learning. Oh, I've never tried that combo she showed. Maybe I'll try that. And that's really what this is about. It's just trying, trusting your own inner wisdom and saying I'm open and I'm willing to combine those things together to integrate what my doctor might be sharing with me and what I know I can do at home. So give yourself grace, stay in peace, knowing that when you need oils, they're here for you. And when you're ready for them, they're here for you. And don't be frustrated. I mean, I know it's hard, it's easy to say because I was getting frustrated with my own body, but it was a really good lesson for me. It's time to just take it, take it one day at a time really, really important to listen to your body and honor your body and really sink into some of the emotional oils. Like, what am I feeling right now? How can I look to my oils to support me? How can I grab my neroli and my peace to help support my anxious feelings so I can get restful sleep so my body can heal? And being okay with saying no. I cannot do that for you. I'm sorry, I don't feel well. I hope to see you at the next one or, you know, sorry, I can't attend that event or whatever it is. Saying no means saying yes to you and giving yourself that space that you're holding to get better. So speaking of being ready, if you're ready to try oils, my website, hillarylemay.com is a great home base for you. If you have questions about anything that I talked about tonight, if you want to dig a little deeper into anything, let me know. I'd be happy to help you. I offer personal one-on-one -on -one product coaching as well as wellness consultations as well as business coaching so if you want to share these oils with friends and family in your life i'd be happy to support you there um, i would love to hear how you recover from travel and some of your favorite tips and tricks that you use to support yourself if you try any of these i'd love to hear from you shoot me a message in any of the vortexes i look forward to serving you and helping you see changes in your wellness this year more than ever before and how accessible it is and how truly simple it is to use your oils to support you especially when you're feeling yucky and then sitting in that confidence to know you have what you need the knowledge you have the desire and you have the tools to be patient with your body and be your own wellness warrior and of course if you're ready to dig into oils when you get started with me you get an all access pass to all of these videos and educational trainings and research replays from all the classes all the posts that have been archived in my private team community since 2014 that I've been sharing since I started my journey in doTERRA don't forget that the updated broadcasting schedule is that I will see you back on Monday April 1st to quickly highlight for you some of the April promotions um, including the Mother's Day kit which is gonna have a beautiful white marble diffuser and the new blend called citrus bloom that's gonna be really pretty um, and we'll be together again then for another throw it out Thursday on Thursday April 11th and thank you as always for holding space for me for loving me and trusting me um, in all my imperfectness I love when you guys tag me on Instagram and Facebook and show me your recipes your DIYs your methods I love when you show me your victories it just makes me so happy for you and it just it makes my mama bear heart super happy so that's a wrap on my 180 86 Periscope broadcast. Hopefully you can start to see now that these are building blocks of habits that we've been establishing together over the years and little by little they really culminate together to work so beautifully and we've got these troops ready to support us on the front lines when we don't feel good. So I will see you guys in April. Have a wonderful weekend and I can't wait to see you again. Bye guys.